Hi everyone, it's Gina K from Gina K Designs and welcome to Stamp and Chat. It is Whimsical Wednesday here in our studio and I'm so excited to see so many of you from all over the country and all over the world. Some of you are so dedicated, you stay up into the wee hours of the morning to be here and I can't even begin to tell you how much I appreciate having you here. So tonight, uh, I have a special guest and I think you know who that is. Tom is gonna join me tonight. He is going to try his hand at some stamping and coloring and a little wood graining. Um, now, before I get started, I just need to do a very special shout out because I, I didn't do this um, last week and I meant to and um, I got a wonderful bouquet of flowers from a very dear friend of mine, Kenny Fry. And Kenny Fry sent me a Ms. K, congrats on 135,000 YouTube subscribers. So Kenny, thank you so much for the beautiful bouquet of flowers and your kind words. Really appreciate that. All right, so tonight's topic is patience is a virtue. Patience is... <laughs> <laughs> we, we, um, <laughs> so it's, it is, it's a total coincidence. It has nothing to do with you, Tom. It's about being patient just in with everything that's going on. It's hard not to just want things to hurry up and be done and get over with. And of course we all want that, but remember that patience is the calm acceptance that things can happen in a different order than the one you had in mind. So, and I'm going to have some patience tonight because I'm going to be teaching Tom how to stamp and we're going to have a lot of fun. So, Tom, do you want to um, join me? All right. All right. So Tom's going to come around here and I actually got a chair, a little stool here for Tom. Oh, sorry. My nose is itching. You know what my mom always said? If your nose itches, it means you're going to get in a fight. <laughs> That's not a good thing. <laughs> So here comes Tom. I brought a stool over for him because his head came like way up over the top of the screen. So here he is. It's Tom. Yay. We need sound effects. That's next. Okay, Working that's next. That. Okay, that. good. Trying to do everything here. Yeah, I know. I know. All over. You're like the uh you're like the uh Wizard of Oz. Okay. Pay no mind to the man behind the curtain. No, I'm very excited. I've been uh, practicing. You have? No. <laughs> Well, you know, I found out I was I was reading a bunch of the comments and I found out that a lot of husbands watch Stamp and Chat with their wives. So maybe Great. you can encourage some of these gentlemen to maybe stamp with their wives. OK. <laughs> you don't think that's a thing? Maybe I can. <laughs> oh, hey, can you go back over there and put the comments back up? So we can see oh, the yeah, comments. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So Tom's going to run back over there and put the comments back up. We've got a little control off to the side here so he could switch the overhead and the front shot. But um, we want to be able to see your comments so that uh, we can, you know, answer your questions and things like that. So hopefully they'll keep scrolling. Do you think they'll scroll? Ooh, I don't know. Ooh, I don't know either. All right. Well, we're going to have to kind of go back and forth. You also have your iPhone, so you can kind of keep track at least of some of the comments on YouTube for now. Okay, we're so. We're really winging it here. Right? Yeah, we're winging it. It's a to total wing, but it'll work. So First ton one. Tonight, I know, first right? First one we've ever, first wing job we've ever done. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's been, how many years have we been married? Right. <laughs> 33 years of marital bliss. Okay. Yeah, a few wing jobs. In yeah, there. absolutely. And, you know, I don't know if I ever told you this, but in the entire history of my family, there's never been a divorce. No. Never really? been a divorce. Several murders, but... <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> but never a divorce. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the overhead shot so I can show you the stamp set that we're going to use today. We are going to be using this stamp set. This is called Grand Garden. And I know I have a mask there, so it's hard to see. Let me see if I have a brighter piece of cardstock. This might help a little bit. That's not too bright. But this is the Grand Garden stamp set. I could back out a little bit. I am really close up here. So Grand Garden is a stamp set that, did you know your daughter drew this? I did. Yes, yes Alicia. This is Alicia's... Uh, flower and leaves that she drew and 
we designed these greetings together. So we're going to be using this one tonight. And then we are going to be using some masking magic to cut a mask because I want to show you how you can stamp this flower and leaves and get the leaves behind the flower without cutting anything out. I want to know. How you to want do to know that. how to? Okay. All right. So let's start with a piece of cardstock, Tom. You're going to start. So you know what a misty is, right? You've heard me talk yes. about the misty forever. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So if you want to put this piece of cardstock in right. the, let's see, we'll get this into the scene here. There we go. How's that? So here is the cardstock. And then if you want to take the big flower out of there, Okay, so I have to follow instructions. Yes. There's no artistic license here for me, right? Oh, you can be artistic. Oh, okay. Okay, you do your thing. You, you can said put, it. Okay. Well, you can, you go ahead. You could do it in either direction. You can do your card like this, or you can do it like this. Which way do you want to do it? Okay, let's do like this. Okay. Portrait. Um, all right. Portrait mode, and then you're going to put the stamp down wherever you want it, face down on the misty. All right. Okay. So I'm going to just put that magnet down there in case you have to stamp it a second time. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pick that up with the door of the Misty. There's a little handle I made there. You see that? Yes. Okay. All right. Here we go. Now you can ink that up with some black onyx ink. Patience. Patience is a virtue. <laughs> Okay, so let me get let me move this over so they can see you inking here. That's good. Technique. Yeah. You might want to really put some pressure on that and get the ink on there. All my weight? Not all your weight. <laughs> just right. just some of your weight. All right. You know, things stop to a screeching halt today at work. They did, what happened? Screeching halt, well, that happens like four times a day anyway. <laughs> four screeches. That's probably good. But um, the stapler broke, I had to fix the stapler. <laughs> and that not only was it, it was a crucial stapler, it's the stapler they used to put the uh, incentive set onto the Oh, the I'm glad you fixed that. Right, Sammy, if you're watching Sammy. Sammy's. <laughs> Sammy's, okay, so you can stamp okay. that. Your ink's probably drying a little bit. Patience. Okay, and you want to put some good pressure on that. All right, good pressure. Yeah, now if you want, I have a towel somewhere. If you like the idea of like just pressing by rub, yeah, see, that's a little easier, right? Yeah. Okay. I was going to pound it a few times. No. <laughs> You're good. Okay, let's see what you got. All right. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. Right yeah, gorgeous. Great job. All right. Now, do you want leaves on there? Yes. Okay, then you're going to have to clean that stamp. There's your tidy towel. And then, um, so let's let's show them the technique of masking. So for those of you who've never seen masking before, I can only imagine the comments, but <laughs> they're great. I'm sure they're incredible comments. Good job. Awesome, Tom. Nice job, Tom. Yay for Tom. All right. Well, that's, that's positive. <laughs> okay. So what I've done here is I've stamped a flower onto the Masking Magic masking paper. And I always keep my masks, I just tape them onto my stamp pocket. You can also stamp, tape them right onto your acetate sheet that your stamp set comes with. Um, and I reuse these over and over again. As long as you're gentle putting them on and taking them off, it's not a big deal. So Tom, what you're going to do here is you are going to place this on top of your flower so it perfectly lines up. I hear Teddy scratching. No. Perfectly lines up. Okay, really? 
Easy. <laughs> All right. That's good. Oh, it looks great. And now you have to decide what you want your leaves to look like. Do you want them to come like this way and this way? Do you want just one leaf? Do you want two? What would you like? I would like definitely one here. Okay. Like halfway. Okay. All right. So Le let's. Am I leaving space for a greeting? Greeting. Yeah. Okay. So maybe down here. Yeah. What greeting were you thinking? Uh, boy, greetings. See, see, we didn't plan anything. See, you, you need to add sentiments for guys because these aren't things that guys say, unfortunately. Really? Yeah. Dream big. You are a beautiful soul. You know, if you're going to have things that guys say, you might want like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wrong again. <laughs> Well, I don't. I don't smell anything. <laughs> anyway, these these will do. We'll have to. We'll have to do with these. Okay. So dream big. I like. Okay. So then, why don't you put your greeting on now? I don't smell anything. <laughs> you really want me to do a greeting set that has I don't smell anything in it? <laughs> I was just going with what guys can say sometimes. Okay. So I'm putting this on now. Yeah, you could put that on. Dream big. What do you think? Yeah, it's great. This would be a great card for you to give to your daughter, one of your daughters. It would. Wouldn't it? Perfect. All right. Okay, you can pick that up. By the way, you smell good. Thanks. Did you put cologne on for tonight? <laughs> yes, yeah, you usually stop the first two words, but <laughs> or the three words. <laughs> You, you put cologne on for, you know, they can't smell you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So if you want to ink that up. All right. Inking up. Inking it Same up. Color. Yep. Same color. Black onyx. So he's going to ink that up off of the camera over there. Yay for Tom. <laughs> okay. Okay. You want to really ink that. You might want to, mm -hmm. well, you might want to stamp it a second time too. I don't know that I've used Dream Big out of this set yet. So it may not have been used yet. Well, see, I'm in new territory. You already. are. This is brand new territory. There you go. Yep. <laughs> Look straight. Yep. Sure. Yes. I think you're going to want to stamp it again though. See, it's a little. So you might want to just get a second coat. Okay. It's probably good. <laughs> yeah. It's going to look good. Oh, no, it doesn't look good. <laughs> we can fix that. This is a supervised activity. <laughs> We can fix that. <laughs> we'll fix that at the end. I think right. setting me up. I am here. not setting you up. I probably shouldn't have touched it. I just. Oh, you touched it. Well, I touched it because I thought it came out of oh, the, the thing, you okay. know, like it moved. So Sabotage. I'm sorry. Okay. So do you want to put your leaf on now? Yeah, I'll put my leaf on. So now. you want to put your leaf on. How are we going to so fix that? How do you get past that? Now I'm. Now you want to know how to get past it? Well, I was thinking of maybe like cutting out a greeting and popping okay. it up. Okay. All right. Yeah. So we'll be all right. Okay. We'll be all right. There's always a fix. <sighs> okay. So you want to put that down. You said you wanted to do two. So you can put that so that, let me just I show you. Here. Well, you can if you want, here. but we want to kind of make the leaves look like they're coming out from uh, the center. Yeah. So if you do that one there and then you do another one over here. Okay. Okay. All right. I think that might look good. Maybe even move it over just a little bit more because you have to color all this still. Take this one off? Yeah. All right. So now Tom is going to pick that up with the lid of, his, of the Misty. <laughs> 
I will work on a greeting for you. Okay. You moved it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So go ahead and ink that up. Gives me her seven year old ink pad, right? <laughs> no, that's the one I use all the time. <laughs> Okay. Tom, you are a magnificent stamper. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> okay. Right at it? Right at it. Okay. Good. Okay. Now leave that there. Clean that stamp. And now you're going to use the other mask on the leaf. Here's the leaf mask. If you guys haven't tried masking, it is really fun to do. It's a great way to create your own bouquets with different flowers. The thing is you have to always stamp whatever one you want to be in the very front first. And then as you add more stamps, you're actually moving them to the back. So it's kind of counterintuitive because you would think that you know, you're stamping one and then the next one's going to be in front and the next one's going to be in front. But with masking, it's the opposite. Whatever you stamp first is in the front and everything else is going to be in the back. And you have to fussy cut these, right? Nope, you don't have to. Well, you have to fussy cut the masks, masks. yeah. So I think if you put this one here, okay, that would look good, but you got to take that off. Okay. You are teaching masking, Tom. You are teaching masking. In these days of masks. <laughs> In the days of masks, you're teaching masking. All right, well, that went a little crooked, see? Oh, so you can just pick it up and reposition it. Yeah? Yep. No, it was fine. I think it'll work. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Okay. Okay. Stamping? Stamping. All right. You getting good compliments? I am, I think. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Wow. Really? <laughs> Got a lot of ink on there. Patience. Is a virtue. <laughs> Calm acceptance and all that. Right. Calm acceptance. That things happen in a different order. Same with masking. Things happen in a different order than you have in mind. All right, beautiful. Now this looks like a mess right now, but when you take the masks off, it's gonna look great. So you might wanna, here's another tidy towel. You wanna make sure you don't have any ink on your fingers. It was pretty inky. Okay. And if anybody has any questions, we will try to kind of peek at the comments here and there, but. Uh, yeah, sorry if I'm missing any trolls. Although, did you see the last, the last live, uh, somebody came in and said something inappropriate, and these ladies nuked this troll really? before I even had a before chance. Before you saw it? <laughs> it's great. This, this, this person was... Switch to the front. <laughs> this person was a piece of toast. Oh, really? A piece of burnt toast on the far side of the moon after, oh, let's see, working with things here. There we go. There we go. <laughs> okay. we go. So, so, they, yeah. so they, they toasted them? Yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty amazing. So I'm not too worried about. <laughs> so I think, though, that anybody out there, if you're watching on YouTube, that you can actually kick yeah, somebody out. What, anybody can kick them out. Yeah. So I mean. if you see somebody, normally Tom is trying to monitor all that and he's stamping so he's I think busy. he was blocked like 35 times <laughs> that's awesome all right let's go back to the overhead you still cleaning yeah. let's okay. go back to the overhead okay you've got like 20 devices honestly we've got like four computers going all at the same time it's really scary all right, there we go. that's good yeah right. so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna peel your masks off all of them yeah, but do it in, in so that they can see. Yeah. Okay, peeling. Yep. Nice. Okay. And see, we're saving these masks. We're putting them back on the sheet. 
And now you're gonna peel the flower mask off. Hmm, I gotta get it started. Patience. Patience is a virtue. All right. <gasps> Isn't that cool? That's beautiful. Yeah, that just is, the drunken dream big is a little bit. Dry. Well, we'll put a greeting okay. on that. We'll fix that. Don't worry. I, right. I have a plan. Okay. So I have one that I did earlier and I just did my flower down here mm -hmm. and I just did one leaf with so many smiles begin with you. Isn't that nice? It is nice. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry about your dream big. Okay. Um, but we'll fix it. So let's get this out of the way because now we're going to color with some Gamsol. Have you ever done Gamsol before? Uh, Maybe? No. Really? I don't think so. Okay, so we're going to color here. Let's get, let's zoom in a bit so everybody can see our stuff really well. There we go. Okay, so Tom, I cut, I thought it would be cute if you were blue and I was pink. Wouldn't that be cute? Yes. Okay. So you're blue and I'm pink. Is this sea glass? No, this is turquoise sea. That is turquoise sea. Very turquoise good. Sea. So I'm going to grab a piece of scrap paper here, just a little piece, and then we can find a pencil that looks good with turquoise sea. And I don't know which one that's going to be. So I think maybe this one might look better. Do you want to just color it on there just a little bit and see? That's pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. So then we're going to find one that looks pretty good with Dusty Rose. Does that look good? Or do you think I need to be pinker? Mm, you like the uh, pinker one? I think so. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. All right. We're good. I want to just try one more thing here though too, because this is magenta. No, this one is like spot on. Yes. Okay. All right. So I'm, what color are you using? My pencil is called pink. <laughs> Cobalt turquoise. Okay. All right. So if anybody's following along or you're trying to do Tom's card, it's uh, cobalt turquoise and mine is just called pink. Now I always have a pencil sharpener close by and here it is. This is the eye orbit, eye point orbit pencil sharpener. And the way you use this is you just put the pencil in straight down and it gives it a nice sharp point. So your pencil, I sharpened beforehand, so you should be okay. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to color all the petals close to where they look like they're coming out of the center of the flower, just like that. You're going to lay down a decent amount of color all right, but you have to be on camera, more on camera. <laughs> All right, so the pencil sharpener broke at work today and you were the, the uh, superhero that fixed it? I was. Wow. Shout out to all the girls at work. Yeah, we have the best staff at work. They're awesome. They are great. We uh, we had quite a bunch of sales over the weekend. Or actually, it was on Monday, and they've been they've been really hustling to get those orders out. So, Tom, how do you feel about card making? <laughs> You couldn't just go with the coloring. Yeah, I'm concentrating here. Oh, you are. <laughs> if you're going to do videos, you have to you have to learn I've to seen, talk the entire time I've while you're concentrating. Seen them, so many of these done. It's from another angle, though. But you feel like you know what you're doing. No, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> What words of advice can you give to any guys out there that are thinking about getting into card making? Any of the husbands of the, the wives that are 
forcing their husbands to watch me right now and you? <laughs> I would say learn some of the basic rules that the ladies like to do with the card making because if you follow your own creativity, it might be a little scary <laughs> for them. <laughs> so you kind of get into their world first. You know, Tom wasn't always a, um, what are you? Well, what I do you know. do? <laughs> I, was, I was hoping you were going to finish that with something. What do you do? Well, you work, you do a lot of things. You uh, fix staplers. Fix staplers, <laughs> right? Fix staplers. Um, you cut paper. How far do I go up on the big ones? Well, I, that's how far I went up. Can you see? Okay. Yeah, I mean, you might want to go back and add more. Y you can, but you don't want to go too far up because the gamsaw is going to blend it out, and you want it to get really light as it goes up to the to the tip of the pedal. My, you can't see? Oh, they can't, can't see, see you. Fine work here. So, Tom, what else do you do at work? You cut paper. All the cardstock comes in in these. A lot of it comes in in these huge sheets from the mill. You cut it. Yeah, I, I disappear and do tax returns in the back and then come out and cut paper or move paper. Or and There's a list, that the never-ending list. Well, sometimes it ends that the, the girls make for things they need. And um, somebody put their laundry on there once, I just thought. Did you do it? No. <laughs> okay. Pick up some groceries. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm not sure what this is here. Um, you know, I don't know what that is either. It looks like just kind of like a curl. All right, so yeah. just you know, that's the thing is just make the call. I think that I think our girls probably get their creativity more from you than they do from me. Oh no, because you just you just actually cared about what that was doing and see, I don't care because I don't try to like see light and stuff like that. I just. All right. You're hearing it folks. This is one of Gina Kay's secrets, creative secrets. I don't care. <laughs> that's, well, that's not exactly what I mean. I don't care. I if mean, you want that... it to be nice. Don't care. <laughs> right. You okay, just... so this one here, should should that go all the way up? Well, that I think I did that. I think, like, see here, I, I mean, just kind of went. Care. I know, but I okay, care I'll a little. <laughs> Parts of it I care. What I'm saying is I don't care where the light is coming from. I don't understand any of that. I'm not really an artist. You need to get more in so they can see your coloring. Um, but... I just want to have lights and darks. I just want to have shading. So gotcha. I color this way because it's easy. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to impress anybody. <laughs> and most of the people that receive my cards like the card because it's handmade. They're not judging the, um, well, maybe you do. Are you judging where the lights and darks are coming from when I make a card? Not at all. Okay, good. Good, good. So um, I want to tell them the story of when you had to move that huge piece of equipment and what happened. When we moved into our new location, Tom had to move this huge Swiss cutter. It's like a, a, um, a cutter that cut out all our rubber stamps. So it, it's really, really big. And he had to take it all apart from our old warehouse and try to get it to fit in an elevator. And it was not fitting in an elevator. We had guys there that um, were trying to get it in the elevator. And I was in the kitchen at work. And I was just kind of pacing back and forth. It was the middle of, it was still really cold. It was winter. And I was pacing back and forth. I was so worried. I was thinking, if we can't get that thing down in the basement, we have to figure out a whole new configuration of this store. And... Um, I had seen on Facebook a feather. I saw a picture of a feather and it was just somebody posted it and it was a pretty little feather and it said, uh, whenever you see a random feather, it means somebody that you love is around you. 
Well, this was the middle of the winter and I was in the kitchen, which is right in the center of the building. There's no windows, no doors, nothing. It was cold. Um, and I remember you were working on that and I, um, my dad, my dad had been gone for many, many years. He passed away and I was back there thinking, you know, if my dad was here, he'd probably have some pretty good ideas on how to get that, that big cutter down that, down, into that elevator. And I was, I was just kind of thinking about that. And I was thinking, oh, dad, what would you do? What would you do if you were here? And right after I said that, just about 10 minutes after I said that, you came back in the kitchen and you said to me, we got it in the elevator. And I said, oh my gosh, you did. And you said, yes, it's in the elevator. It's going downstairs right now. Everything worked out. And I said, okay. And I turned around in the kitchen and we have this long rubber black mat that covers part of the floor. And right in the middle of that black mat, there was a white feather. Whoa. And I thought, oh, my dad is here. He's helping. He's helping. And I'll never forget that. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. So how are you doing? I'm doing upside down coloring. You are? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to start on my leaf while you're still doing your coloring. I'm going to do my leaf and I'm just going to color this green. The green that I'm using is lime peel. How are we doing on time? Oh, it's only 730. We still have to try some wood graining. If we don't get to wood graining tonight, we'll do it on next time you come and visit. Okay, is that everything? I think that's everything. Looks good, yeah. Well, I want to do a couple of those little ones, but... I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe I wasn't really looking. <laughs> Looks great. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Whatever. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so I Another added... Another thing your dad would say. Was, what, what would my dad say? What the hell's the difference? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh, I miss him. Okay. So I'm going to take this little cup here, and I'm going to put some Gamsol in here. So Gamsol is 100% artist-grade odorless mineral spirits. Please don't use the odorless mineral spirits. Now that we got all the guys watching too, don't use the stuff you have out in the garage. This is artist grade and it doesn't really have any smell at all. Um, and I've used the stuff from the hardware store thinking, ah, it's probably the same thing. It's definitely not the same thing. So here's a blending stump for you. Let's make sure that you're in close enough here so everybody can see you blend. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your blending stump and, <laughs> and you're going to, you're not going to do that. <laughs> Thank goodness we don't have the front shot on. We're going to dip it into the odorless mineral spirit. See, I'm holding it in there for a minute. You want to make sure some of that odorless mineral spirits absorbs into it. That's good. Okay. Wow, look how high. Yeah, yours went really up there. All right, and then you're going to start right on the color and you're gonna do like a circular motion and you're gonna pull the color out toward the end of the petal. Can this be too wet? Not really. I mean, I guess it could be too wet if it's all the way up to the top and you know, you're know you you're touching it, you're holding on to like very wet blending stump, but otherwise, no, not really. How's it going? Is it blending? I think so. So what you might not know is at Creativation, I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> when I came back, Tom was demoing the wreath builder and he had like 20 ladies around him. Do you remember that? No, how did that go? <laughs> I must have blacked out. I think it went okay. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. So is that about how far to go up? Or? Yeah, that looks great. Oh, yours looks beautiful. You could even go up a little farther if you want, but it looks beautiful. It's really blending out nice. Isn't coloring relaxing? It is. Now, see, I feel like I started with the color that matched Dusty Rose, but um, as it's 
going out, it's getting really light. Probably could have gone with that darker one. But I think it'll still be pretty. You guys think that'll still work? I think so. So you re-wet. Oh, yeah. Right, or, oh, sorry about that. Did I not oh, tell you that? Dusty blending stump here. <laughs> you can dip again if you have a dusty blending stump. <laughs> so Tom and I are going to try something tomorrow that we've never tried before. Well, I've never tried before. We are going to take one day and we are going to eat raw. Doesn't that sound horrible? <laughs> we are going to just do a raw diet. We're gonna eat just all fresh fruit and vegetables, probably pick some tomatoes out of the garden, but just all fresh raw food, just to give our systems a little break and see what happens. So if, um, if you see me on Facebook and I'm making all kinds of mean comments, <laughs> I'm probably really hungry and haven't had any coffee. Oh, I forgot about coffee. I can't have coffee, can I? It's going to be a great day. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. No coffee on a raw diet? Well, you want to put some raw coffee. <laughs> I'd have to, like, just eat the unroasted beans, right? That'd be the only way. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Yours is looking good. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. So we'll let you know how that goes. And um, I'll just apologize now if I'm really mean tomorrow. Okay. Will you forgive me? Of Pati course. Patience is a is a virtue. <laughs> You've done that before though. You know how to fast and stuff. I don't know how to do any of that. Well, I've tried. Yeah, I'm not real good at it, but it helps sometimes. Yeah. That's what I've heard. I've heard it's good to like give your system a break. It sounds horrible, but. I mean, that's what happens when you get sick. You, when you, if you get sick and you don't want to eat, yeah. And your body doesn't can't keep anything down. It's just cleaning itself out. It's just it seems easier though when you're sick. <laughs> Although maybe this is too much information. I do remember not being being able to eat when I had to get a colonoscopy. And um that uh but I was able to eat jello and stuff. I'm going in with a darker color here. I'm going in with magenta. I never thought on my stamp and chats that I would be talking about colonoscopies, but here you are. <laughs> Do you know what our most popular stamp set was at the colonoscopy clinics? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're beautiful inside and out. Oh, boo. <laughs> You remember that one? <laughs> I do remember that one. We did have a set called Inside and Out. <laughs> Big hit. Big hit. Isn't that perfect? It is, actually. <laughs> That'd be a great card that for the cheer, doctor to send you. <laughs> that would cheer people up. <sighs> I just wanted to go a little darker in close here. So I'm adding some magenta on top of that pink, just adding a little bit of, a little more dark. There we go. You're not even, they can't even see you color. <laughs> it's hard to, it's hard Sorry. to reach, isn't it? Sorry. It's okay. It's all right. It's easy to forget. I recorded a whole YouTube video like that one time. I had, that was devastating, that moment, I remember. There were a few. <laughs> well, Tom used to edit all my YouTube videos when we did the two camera shoots, because I don't know how to do that. And um, he would edit all of them for me. And there were actually times 
tell you how magical Tom is. There were actually times where I said the wrong word. Like I said the measurements. Wrong, measurements. Like like you were giving card measurements and you would say the wrong number. Yeah, I would say the wrong number. And Tom would go back to an old video where I said the right number. And he would take the number, the little vocal clip out, and he would dub it in, and you could never tell. That was pretty amazing. Very amazing. Thank you for doing <laughs> that, because a lot of people would have destroyed a lot of paper, cutting the wrong size, because I couldn't say the right number. All right, well, I'm almost done my coloring here. So I think I'm going to start blending out the green. I love this flower. I almost feel like I want to put like a little gray around the outside. Oh, yours looks great. Let me see. Look how pretty that looks. Wow. Yeah, baby. Wow. I love Kathy Rakusen would love that. She loves leaving the tips of the flowers all white like that. Oh, you didn't do that? I didn't, Well, mine is kind of. A pale color to begin with. But more contrast. Here. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm very impressed. Okay. Now I'm going to blend out this green. That is really nice. I think I'm going to add that gray that we talked about just around the outside. So what else you got? Anything else going on in your life? Oh, boy. No. <laughs> kind of glad we have some summer left. Yeah. Tom and I started a garden this year, and it's been, it's been a learning experience. So what I didn't know when we started the garden is that lettuce has a very limited lifespan. I did not know that. I'm gonna add a little darker green here. I'm gonna add this moss green. And what happens to it? What did I say? What was the word that I Googled? What happens to what? To lettuce. Bolts? Yes, it bolts. Yeah, I Googled that and it said it bolted. My lettuce bolted. And for all of you that have had gardens, you know exactly what that is. But I did not know what that was. And I went out to get my lettuce and it it was like like a thistle bush. It had all sharp pokey things all over it. And it had bolted. And I guess once it bolts, they say that happens when it gets too hot. And you would never think in Wisconsin it could ever get too hot, but it does in the summer. Still fed it to me though, didn't you? Well, I did. <laughs> Here. It's kind of bitter. Try this. Like, what happens if you eat bolted lettuce? Tom, <laughs> here, eat this. <laughs> you were okay. Angry. Yeah, it's angry lettuce. That's exactly what it is. It's very bitter. Very bitter. But um, I did cut all the thistly things off, though. I didn't want you to, like, choke. Off. Yeah, it looks great. That's beautiful. Look at you. That's beautiful. Ooh. So do you want to do your leaves? Okay. All right. Same thing with the leaves. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to leave mine right here, this but is... you make sure you're in the picture here. All right. Just I'm going to this... fix your greeting. Just use the leaf bones as a guide. Yeah. The leaf, the leaf bones. Yeah. Are these the bones, the, the sticks, the leaf sticks? <laughs> I love yours. It's gorgeous. So let me see if I can rescue you what I ruined for you here. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna move that over for you. And I'm gonna try to fix your greeting that I ruined. Dream big. Okay, I'm gonna use an acrylic block for that. Are there a lot of people out there who are crafting along with us or? I think some people do. I think actually a lot of people do because sometimes when I get done the video, I go into the group to post my pictures and a bunch of people have already posted the stuff they've made. Is that enough color or should I put more on? Uh, well, you can always go back and add. That might work. 
Yeah, so I go into the group afterwards and you have to come in and see. People do like amazing cards while they're kind of hanging out with us. It's really cool. I'm gonna try to save that with a little, let me get my paper cutter. Apparently this paper cutter is out of stock everywhere. This is the We Are Memory Keepers paper cutter. Sorry, am I in your way? <laughs> Um, but my, my favorite little paper cutter is the Tim Holtz paper cutter. And that's been out of stock too. But I like this one too. This is a good one. Let's see if I can make this smaller. I'm helping, but I don't know if I'm helping all that much here. We'll see. Ooh, that's too much. Ah. <sighs> I don't have the right uh, die to cut this out. It'd be nice to have the right die. But this gives me ideas for future dies that I need to come up with. Let's see if this will help. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, uh, that's all I could do is apologize for moving your card stock. We'll see how this looks. So how's your uh, coloring going there? Oh, that looks great. That really looks beautiful. I'm actually a little annoyed. And it looks so good. <laughs> Tom K Designs. Hey, in that Dream drawer big. right next to you is the tape. Can you get the tape out of that drawer? If you throw your eyes out of focus, okay. Stream Big looks really good. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah. You know, we don't want to give people a card that they have to. Rena made one card one time, and maybe if I had those three D glasses, it would really look good. <laughs> you do it in two colors and a little offset. Rena made a card one time for. She said, "Just give this to a friend who can't find their glasses or something like that." I, don't know. <laughs> I am struggling here. Try to make this work. Denise loves my white tips on the flowers and leaves. See? I do too. Mm. Denise is right. That's beautiful. I was just too exhausted to keep going. Really? No. <laughs> All right. So what do you think of this? We could pop that up right there. Yes. Like right there. Yeah. It took about 7,000 cuts to get that right. Game big. Dream big. Okay. So now we're going to. I wonder if artists ever get tempted to just freehand anywhere. Oh, Kathy does. Yeah. Kathy Rakus, and she adds like lines and dots and mm. little doodles and stuff. Okay. So here's a piece of cardstock for you. And you can. Here's some tape. And you can adhere your your white piece onto that black piece. But you need to get into the, here, I'll get out of the way so you can be on screen. Okay. I just smudged something too, so I need to get the mono sand eraser. So this is all dry, I can turn it over? Yeah. Or... Honestly, I, <laughs> I smudged something on my card already. Oh, there's the doggy. Oh, that was Teddy. Oh, by the way, Teddy update. Um, we took her in, and um, she got a new medicine that's kind of making her sleepy, but she is definitely feeling much better than she was before. Much better than before. So we're just waiting for some test results to see how she's doing. And this one? Yeah, do you want to pop it up or do you want to just tape it right down? Tape it. All right, tape it. I have things to pop things up if you want. But. Tom, you are just rocking it. Whoa, that looks great. Here's your card base. <laughs> I'm going to put it on my Instagram and say I made that one. <laughs> like yours better. 
here's Tom's very pale pink one, and mine is this beautiful, vibrant turquoise one. <laughs> oh, you're gonna have to have your own show. That's nice. Beautiful. So do you want to put sequins on it? Because we, I don't know that we have time to do wood graining, so I think we should embellish a little bit. That's a question no one has ever asked me. <laughs> do you want to put sequins on it? Look at how beautiful that is. You did so good. Okay, let's do, let's add a few sequins. I have some Connect glue here. Shelly wants to know what the measurements are. Okay, that's a good question, Shelly. So both cards, the measurements are three and a half inches this way by four and three quarter inches this way. And then add an eighth of an inch on each side for the black layer. So three and a half by four and three quarters, and then three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And then this is a regular standard A2 size card. Don't even ask me what this is because I have no idea. That was just, that was very difficult. Let's put some sequins on. Okay, right. so these are disco ball sequins. And I'm gonna put one, I'll show you how to do this and then you can put yours on, okay? All right, All right. so I'm gonna put one here. I like to do threes. I'll put one there, I'll put one there, and I'll put one over here, okay? And then this is called a jewel picker. A jewel picker. Yeah, so this picks up the sequins and then it allows you to place them where you want them. So you just pick up the sequin, place it. And um, sequins have a right side and a wrong side. You want them so that they cup upward. Cupward. <laughs> Cupward. <laughs> okay. All right, now the glue, you know, the, you gotta be gentle with the glue so too much doesn't come out. But I like that. I think that's just a nice little little glitzy touch. Okay. All right. Your card is definitely going first on Instagram. So where are you gonna put them? Uh, three we're doing? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Just not too close to the edge. Like I should tell you, your card is amazing. Oops, too much? No. The thing about the Connect glue is even if it oozes out a little bit, it dries clear so you don't even see it. Okay. Do you want to just come in closer this way so people can see you put them on now? All right. Okay. All right. Cupward. Cupward. <laughs> That's the... Uh... Okay, now this, yeah. Do you want like something else? Like maybe just tweezers to press it a down. Stick tool. A stick tool, yeah. You know, That's when good. I, when I was a brain surgeon. <laughs> this is I like playing the game operation, I was isn't it? Good at this. <laughs> when you were a brain surgeon. <laughs> it didn't go well. <laughs> it's okay, Teddy. Oh yeah, that looks great, hon. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh, there we go. There's Tom's card in blue and my card in pink. Oh, beautiful. All right. Great job. All right, so we're not gonna get to wood graining tonight because it's already, well, it's already yeah, like it's five time. minutes to eight, so. But we'll do that another time because this was really fun. We're going front shot? Yeah, let's go front shot. So I feel bad that we didn't get a chance to um, to answer a lot of the questions uh, that everybody had. Oh, they're asking uh, about the guitar. Oh, about the guitar. Well, okay, so the reason... Can Gina play guitar? So they want you to play guitar. I don't know how to play guitar. <laughs> I don't know how to play guitar. That's no excuse. <laughs> I can play piano, but I don't know how to play guitar. 
Yeah. But the reason why we haven't done any singing yet is because there's a whole bunch of copyright stuff that we have to figure out on YouTube. And um, we don't want my channel to get pulled. Um, maybe you could start a channel and we can get your channel pulled. Yeah, but, we'll figure <laughs> something out. Yeah, but right now we have to we have to do a little bit more investigating. So. Yes. But uh, we're working on that. So this was so much fun. Yes, it was. I had a great time tonight. And I hope you guys had a great time too. So tonight the quote was patience is a virtue. And I always have an ending quote here. Okay, I'm going to tip out. Okay, you're going to tip out? Yep. All right. Well, thank you. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> He'll be back for sure. He'll be back. Okay. So I love this quote. Before I do the quote, um, I do want to... Remind anybody, if you're new to our Stampin' Chat, um, we have a really fun Facebook group called Gina K Designs and Stamp TV Friends. So head over to Facebook and find that group. I'm going to post real good, high-quality photos of these cards so you'll be able to see them a little bit better, and you'll be able to see Tom's beautiful blending. I'm so impressed. And then uh, we would love to have you. It's a great group. Everybody is so friendly over there. It is a private group, so you have to request to join. But our moderators are really on it, and they usually approve people pretty quickly. So... We hope that you will join us. And if you're looking for any of the products that we use tonight, well, not the products, but the stamps that we use tonight, you can find them over on our website at GinaKDesigns.com. All right, so patience is a virtue. So my final quote for the night is, patience is not the ability to wait. It's the ability to keep a good attitude while waiting. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. We had so much fun with you tonight. I promise I will bring Tom back and we will do some wood graining together because that's really what he wanted to do. And I made him color with colored pencils and Gamsol. So we'll definitely do that in another Stampin' Chat. You guys, I will be back. We'll be back on Monday night, next Monday night for a Mix It Up Monday. In the meantime, please stay safe, stay healthy. You guys have a great rest of your week, a great weekend, and... Mwah. We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.